Hey there! My name is Sarah Whittemore. I am a 24-year-old Friends fanatic that currently lives in Nashville, Tennessee. I remember growing up in the early 2000s watching the later seasons of Friends with my mom and dad. It was always on every single week and I just became hooked. Even though I was young then and I didn't really get all the jokes, I'm addicted to it now, rewatching it probably once a month now that it's streaming on Netflix. I mean, come on, could I be any bigger of a Friends fanatic? Um, when Netflix first threatened to take the show off this last year around Christmas time, my friend went ahead and got me the full box set. So I'm set. If it ever disappears, I can just pop these bad boys in and watch all 10 seasons. I mean, what better life can you imagine? I always grew up wanting to be like Rachel Green, but now that I'm older, I'm 100% Monica. I have the OCD tendencies. I'm a clean freak. Everything has to be in its right position. Don't touch the furniture. Don't mess with those refrigerator magnets. And thank you for trying to clean for me. I really appreciate the thought, but let me do it. I'll do it right. In my family's household, we sometimes only strictly talk through friends quotes. You have to pivot around every corner, whether you're carrying a heavy couch up a staircase or not. Christmas time and Thanksgiving, if there's a turkey, we like to hold it up in front of our heads and act like we're dancing with it on our head because of uh, sanitary reasons and everything. I sometimes like to pretend that my local coffee shop that isn't a Starbucks is my central perk and when I'm hanging out with friends there, it's just me trying to relive this magic of a TV show. I will never ever ever skip the opening scene credits with that theme song and you always have to do the four claps. Always. Always, always, always. Even if I'm at a bar and the TVs have reruns of the show on and the opening credit scenes happen and I can't hear the music, I'll still clap along. Don't you ever doubt that. A special talent of mine is being out at a restaurant or a bar and the reruns are playing on TV shows. I can watch maybe two or three minutes of it and then tell you right away what episode is playing and most likely I can quote the show in the scene that they're currently on. With these six friends, the very, very, very end scene of everybody popping their keys on the counter and finally for the last time walking out the door of the apartment. It will always make me cry um, because it really felt like a closing chapter to just such this huge momentous moment in TV history and I still torture myself and I still watch the show all the way through even though I say I'm not gonna watch that ending ever again. I still do it um, but I'm just so thankful that this show was a thing and I'm so thankful I was alive for part of it airing um, because it just really became a part of my life and my family's life. While I was growing up, we quoted every day, we cracked jokes as if they just happened, uh, we'll still laugh until we cry at some of the scenes, um, but I'm just so thankful that this show was a thing and made such a big wave that it did and that it's still around and is still so popular. Um, it's just my happy escape whenever I'm watching it. Everything else kind of disappears for as long as I want to keep streaming, um, which is why I think I would be a perfect candidate. I have watched those 25 hours straight through if I have to, and then some. Um, such a huge fan. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video and tuning in, and I really hope you consider choosing me, Frontier.